In this video, we take a first look at uh, a three-phase system. We're going to cover some nomenclature and some conventions for labeling the variables, and also just look at how this type of a circuit, at least one way that a three-phase circuit could be connected. You'll notice here on the left, there are the three different voltages. V little a n, little, or V little b n, and V little c n, lower script, lower case scripts. You'll notice also that at least in this configuration, the negative terminal of all three of the sources are tied together. By convention, on the source side, we're going to use lowercase letters. AN, lowercase AN, lowercase BN, and lowercase CN. On the load side, we're going to use uppercase letters. So this point here would be the A point, this would be the B point, this would be the C point, all lowercase. And similarly, where the load, these three <coughs> impedances together representing the three phase load, are connected to the transmission line at point A, point B, and point C. So, we have the source here, all three of them 120 degrees out of phase with each other with the same amplitude. On the load side, each of the three phases would have the same impedance. Again, if the assumption is if it's a motor, for example, they're going to have the same number of windings, the same, it's turning the same uh, rotating portion, the same armature, and as such, the impedance that would be seen by looking into the individual phase is going to be the same for all three of those phases. We then reference the voltage VAN is the voltage from here to there. And again, that would be the lower case. Similarly, on the load side, we have V sub upper case AN going from the A point to the common point there. Similarly, B, v, or VBN is the voltage referenced from the B connection to the neutral, and VCN is from the C point to the neutral. The line currents, the currents flowing through the transmission lines, are referred to as I sub little a big A, meaning that it's the current flowing from the lowercase a, the source side, to the uppercase a, the load side. Similarly, I sub little b big B and I sub little c, little c big C. It turns out that, oh, and then here representing the transmission line impedances, Again, each of the line impedances will be the same. They're going the same distance made out of the same materials. Um, everything in these are the same from phase to phase. Because of that, in a balanced three-phase system where the load impedances are the same in each phase, um, it is true then that VAN, VBN, and VCN all form a balanced three-phase set, which means that VAN plus VBN plus VCN equals zero. Similarly, the currents in each of these three phases, I sub little a big A, I sub little b big B, I sub little c big C, constitute a set of balanced um, currents, and the sum of those three currents equals zero. That introduces a rather interesting situation. Let's write a Kirchhoff's current law, a KCL, at the neutral point right there, at the point where the three impedances, the three phases are connected at a common point. We have I sub little a coming in, we have I sub little, I sub little b coming in, we have I sub little c big C coming in. It is and that the sum of those three then will equal the current flowing in this neutral that ties the left and right hand or the source and the load neutrals together. So we have I sub little a big A plus I sub little b big B plus I sub little c big C must equal I sub n. But once again, if it's a balanced system, these three represent a balanced set and they equal zero. What that's saying is that there is no current flowing in the neutral 
when each of the phases is balanced. They are effectively self-neutralizing. What that means is that you've got current coming in here and being offset, or the sum of this current here equals the, those two currents leaving. Keep in mind that they're alternating back and forth. Sometimes it's coming and sometimes it's going, but they're coming and going in phases that are synchronized in such a way that there is no current flowing in the neutral. In some three-phase configurations, they don't even have a neutral wire associated with it.